Sorry, Kara, after Boston here, and uh, we're, we're hours after the event, and, and the news hit of the explosions at the finish line, and kind of want to hear just where you guys were and what happened when, when that all went down. Uh, we were in our hotel room. Um, my mom and my sister, my husband, my aunt, and Colt and I, and we heard the boom, and um, then the second one, and I mean, it, it shook the windows, it shook us, and I, like, immediately like started crying. I was like something just happened and my family's like no you're panicking and um, we opened the window and nobody was nobody looked like they were panicking and um, and then we started hearing the sirens about like probably a few minutes later um, and then my aunt was there who was in 9-11 when it happened so she immediately turned the TV on and um, it was just like slow motion like you know and just just like a lot of crying and just I mean, I was really scared. Like, I was scared to come down for dinner tonight. Now I'm, like, so glad I came down and had a glass of liquid courage. But um, <laughs> just, it just makes you so scared. And it makes you just, I don't know, just so grateful for the happiness in your life. And I just, like, I'm, to use my friend Paula's term, like, just gutted for, I mean, I just can't believe, I can't imagine what some people are going through right now. And it's just awful. What, what some people might be wondering are, are the athletes all here everyone's, everyone's here yeah. and we're kind of like quarantined like no one's allowed out really um uh yeah like we're here we're, everyone's safe you know there's there's armed police officers all over here and that's another thing you know we were looking out the window and we see someone pull up and there's guns and bulletproof vests so it's just i've never seen anything like it in my life i still think i'm like a little bit in shock I'm like very grateful to be safe, but it's just, it's just like your worst, it's just horrible. I just, like I said, there's a lot of people suffering right now, and I just can't believe it. it just seems so frivolous to be talking about the race. Right. You know, people are like suffering, and they just lost people. Yeah. How, do, how does that exchange, just change the experience of the day from finishing in the press conference, then to yeah. all of a sudden just? Well, it's just, it just obviously puts everything in perspective, and it seems like. I don't know, it just makes you kind of feel stupid, like, oh, I was just out running, like, what does it matter? But, I mean, I know I don't really feel that way, but that's just how I feel at this moment. But I know I don't really feel that way, you know what I mean? It's just like, that's what terrorists do. They make you feel scared and feel, take away your joy, and that's, you know, it's not going to happen in the end, but it's just, right now, it just, like I said, it's hard to, like, really be excited about the race or what happened or because there's so many people suffering right now. How, have the athletes talked at all about moving past this, things things to do or? Just a lot of hugs, a lot of tears. Like I, we went down to the dinner and um, you know, I just, everyone's like hugging and just, everyone's just a little like on the verge of tears, you know, and um, everyone just feels so awful. And, um, but, runners are just I mean they're good like they'll get on they'll get on and move on but it's just really sad and I just hope that you know I just hope it doesn't affect this race in the future it's just a beautiful event and a beautiful city I mean if you saw see any of the footage the race volunteers the police officers they acted so good they ran straight towards the smoke Nobody was running away, like, oh my gosh, this is happening. Everyone was running towards it, helping people. It's just, really, everyone should be commended. I mean, just so, no one was thinking of themselves. Everyone was just, like, thinking of other people and helping other people. I mean, it was amazing. They ripped that fence down, and they just immediately were helping people. And there's just a lot of beautiful people here. Well, we appreciate you talking about it. I know your family's here, so uh, enjoy the evening, and we'll be seeing you soon. Okay. Thanks, Carol. Thank you.